nice? Beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Beautiful. Give me another hug. <laughs> Is that a nice veil? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. This is the reason we made three trips to Kansas City. Yes, this is why we went three trips to Kansas City for this. Yeah. Oh, you look so good. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I don't know if you guys are probably. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. I think it's fine. Yeah. You look good too. You look really good. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, it's a joy to have you here on this beautiful and glorious day that we celebrate this wedding. It is beautiful and glorious not merely because of dresses or floral arrangements or that the gentlemen spent hours getting their hair and nails done this morning, but beautiful and glorious because the beauty of love that Maggie and Austin share. A love that has grown over the years, but a love that is elevated to a whole new level in the sacrament of marriage today. One of my favorite questions to ask starry-eyed young couples like Maggie and Austin, why do you want to get married in church? Their answers show that their marriage, the celebration that we have today, is not merely about this day, and it's not merely about just them. It's a love that's bigger than just one day or bigger than just two people. The love that they share is infinite, it's eternal. I, Austin, take you, Margaret, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Margaret, take you, Austin, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Brothers and sisters, it's my privilege to introduce to you United in the Sacrament of Marriage, Mr. and Mrs. Zelstra. I think one of the most important things that you want as parents is uh, you want your kids to grow up to be happy. And I truly believe that Maggie's happy today and we think she's in very good hands with Austin. Maggie has been a great role model to us growing up. We are so grateful to have Maggie as a big sister, even if she is a little bossy at times. Austin, we are so glad to have you a part of this family and I know my dad is too. He finally has someone to drink Bud Light with and watch sports with. Leading up to this day, I was given two important rules. First rule, no swearing. Second rule, I must stay sober until after I speak. And when you think of it, two rules is a lot of rules considering I lived with Zilstra for three to four years and Z was the guy that always said, the only rule is there is no rules. <laughs> Meg, I couldn't have it picked a better wife for my bud Z. Remember, there's always a beginning to every story like today and yours too starts today. So from this point forward, you're on a team 
So remember, work together like you're a team. As Z would say, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Let's have a good time tonight. <laughs>